I love this sketchbook so much that I immediately bought another and by the time I finished this one I hated it. So what happened? This is the Strathmore 500 series. It's a staple for many artists, but there are a lot of pros and cons. Today, I'm gonna tell you everything so you can decide if it's right for you. So what is this sketchbook? Well, it's the Strathmore 500 series and it's advertised as mixed media. It has 64 pages, so 32 sheets, 190 GSM, 90 pounds, and the most important part, it's 100% cotton. It also has pretty standard sizing, so these are pretty much identical to A5 and A4. The cover is a vegan leather and it's really smooth. The cost is between 20 and 30 pound, but it really varies depending on where you are. Generally, it's more expensive than Canson, a little bit more expensive than Stillman and Burn, and cheaper than the Etcher sketchbook. So, what are the pros of this sketchbook? Well, the paper texture is smooth. It has a tiny bit of tooth, but it's pretty much smooth, so that makes it perfect for pen and pencil. You can use a small fine liner and you shouldn't have any problems gliding over the paper. This sketchbook advertises as mixed media and it's not wrong. It's perfect for gouache and it can handle acrylics really well. When it comes to watercolour, the first three layers are absolutely fine. You can layer perfectly, the colours are vibrant, there's a lot of granulation and you can get some gorgeous blooms. Another thing to note is that both sides of the page are exactly the same. They are consistent and identical so you can easily use both sides of the page. So what are the cons? For starters, the cover gets pretty messy. There's random blobs all over the cover where the first layer is kind of falling off and especially all around these edges and it just kind of looks messy. That's consistent with both sketchbooks and it's not like I take these ones out and about with me. They should have very minimal wear and tear and they've still got all of these marks. So the paper. If you're the kind of person that likes texture and cold press paper this isn't for you there is a distinct lack of texture so if you're someone that likes to use watercolor it's definitely noticeable i mentioned it earlier the paper can handle three layers of watercolor any more than that and it starts to go muddy and it starts lifting up the previous layers this was especially noticeable on this piece that was supposed to have really obvious layers but it ended up just picking up what was underneath after three layers another thing to consider is that the paper is slightly off-white it's no nowhere near as cream as the Royal Talons Art Creation sketchbook, but it's nowhere near as white as the Stillman and Burns sketchbooks. This really is personal preference, but if you're using watercolour, it can be quite noticeable. If the paper isn't very white to begin with, you don't have as much white to shine through and you're probably going to have to add some extra highlights in. Something that is noticeable is transfer. I didn't notice this as much when I was in the A5 sketchbook, but as soon as I went to the bigger sketchbook and started doing doing original pieces, adding more layers, the transfer is really noticeable on each page. Wash didn't really transfer at all, but watercolour and colour pencil was pretty much evident on every single page. This isn't really seen much in my smaller sketchbook, so it could be to do with sizing and working in A4 that it was just becoming a bigger issue. When it comes to techniques, this sketchbook is such a good all-rounder. I used salt on this paper and the results are gorgeous. It's so much better better than any other paper that I've used before. Watercolour. If you're someone that likes granulation, this is definitely the sketchbook for you. Even using pigments that don't have much granulation really showed up on this page more so than any other paper. And if you're someone that likes creating blooms and seeing all the textures and effects that you can get with watercolour, this paper definitely does that. Something like the Cardi or Arches paper tends to soften the blooms so they're not as obvious and this sketchbook doesn't do that. That. The blooms are pretty and they're also easy to control. Because it's 100% cotton paper and it acts like it, you can control where the blooms are and it's not just because the paper's dried in a certain area. Masking fluid works really well. I've used it a lot and had no issues, no paper ripping, nothing like that. The paper also lifts really easily. This is perfect if you make a mistake or if you want to dab away a certain area and make it a little bit lighter, say if you're doing clouds. This paper is perfect and really easy 
easily lifting. I've also found that alcohol drops and cling film has worked really well on this paper and it's just a general good all-rounder. So how does it weigh up? On first use I love this sketchbook but why did I not like this one? Well I did a little bit of research whilst I was coming up with this script. The first sketchbook that I got, the A5 one, I bought from Jackson's in April 2021 and the second was bought from the Strathmore store on Amazon in December 2021. Whilst it was sold by Amazon from the Strathmore store, I wonder if the second one could be a fake. Or maybe the manufacturing process has changed and it's now a lower quality. The first sketchbook had minimal transfer on each page, it worked well with salt, it worked well with alcohol. Whilst the second sketchbook had transfer on most pages, didn't work well with soul and didn't work well with alcohol. I really loved the first sketchbook I got. It was fantastic and if I knew I was getting that exact same quality again, I would buy it. But the second one was not enjoyable and I don't know if it's worth that risk. I haven't used the sketchbook with markers but I know a lot of people rave about it. This is a really good all-round sketchbook. It's good with pencil, with pen, with acrylics, with gouache, and with light washes of watercolour. I think the biggest downfall is really when it comes to watercolour. This is a really good sketchbook and it does work well with watercolour, but if you want to create finished pieces, you might be better off going for the Etcher. It's a similar price, although you do get more pages in this one. If you're mostly using watercolour and you want to create finished pieces, I think the Etcher really would be better. But if you buy it from Amazon, there is a chance you could end up with a fake, or maybe they have changed the quality and this is now what it is. Have you noticed the change? at all. The Strathmore 500 is probably the best mixed media sketchbook on the market. Saying that, it's not cheap. If you want to just have fun in your sketchbook, you'd probably be better off buying a cheaper sketchbook to have fun in and individual sheets for finished pieces. And that's everything. I think I will be purchasing one more from Jackson's just to see if the paper quality has really changed. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing to help my channel and I'll see you on Sunday for a new video.